What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. I'm making a lot of videos today, but luckily they're all short and this one's going to be short and sweet too. Thank you for tuning in. So basically we're following the, the production of this movie and we're doing that pretty much because of the help of these two, uh, well, main the main uh, Twitter site that I've been following is Atlanta Filming, but also now Marvelous Realm and there's been other sites like Just Jared and a couple comic book sites that are picking up this news as it breaks. So thank you all out there who are gathering information for this movie, who are following the production this closely. It really means a lot to me because as someone who is trying to stay on top of things, um, I, I just love that you guys are covering it so well. It really means a lot. And I'm hopefully I'm hopefully I'm adding something to the conversation by by showing what you guys have found or or capturing yourself with your cameras and everything like that. Uh, hopefully I'm adding something to the conversation and getting people talking about this movie because I'm getting pumped for it the more and more we learn. And after we talked about Riz Ahmed and Scott Hayes in the last two episodes, I want to talk about Woody Harrelson and I want to theorize for a second. With Carlton Drake cast now and also Roland Treese, uh, well I don't know if it's Carlton Drake, Dr. Drake is what they're calling him, uh, and then we also have Roland Treese. Both of those characters are played by Riz Ahmed and uh, and Scott Hayes, respectively, according to Atlanta Filming and their sources and Marvel uh, Marvelous Realm and their sources. So again, links down below. Follow those guys on Twitter, big time. Um, but now we're also left with who was Woody Harrelson playing? He was brought on to be um, like a henchman. I think they are just calling him henchman. But uh, does the movie? Does it seem like it lends itself to another henchman? I mean, you have Scott Hayes already as that m like muscle character that it, it seems, because we saw that scene where he's like tasering Venom and stuff. So if there's already kind of like a muscle guy and then you have the brains guy with uh, Dr. Drake, where does you know someone like uh, Woody Harrelson fall in? And a lot of people now are starting to speculate that maybe he is playing Cletus Cassidy, AKA Carnage. And that to me would be insanely cool. One, because of the age. Because what I like about that is you could have Cletus Cassidy incarcerated and Woody Harrelson's an older guy, I think like maybe what, late 40s, early 50s, something like that. Um, you could have Cletus Cassidy be that age and having, you know, serving a life sentence with no chance of getting out. And, you know, hasn't seen the outside world in like a couple decades and have him become like, maybe they pull him from jail, or maybe they can have it to where the Life Foundation has connections to the Ravencroft Institute, and they're like, all right, there's a mental facility that we, uh, you know, that we have, like, access to, and there's this crazed individual there named Cletus Cassidy who killed, like, uh, you know, 100 people or something, you know, horrific like that, and they're like, and we have access to him, and we need a test subject for this, you know, this thing we're trying to do with the symbiote. We're trying to get it, you know, we got it to reproduce. Now we want to see what it does, how it melts someone. It could kill them. So let's go get like some psycho and, and put it on him because if it kills him, great. And if it bonds to him, then we'll just melt it off and, you know, and we'll, and we'll start over and put it on someone that we trust or something like that, or someone that it will follow our bidding. And uh, I don't know, just speculating there again too, but that would be neat to see Woody Harrelson just in this role where he's just in a, almost like Hannibal Lecter, he's just like in a cell the whole time and he gets maybe like two or three scenes uh, in the movie and that's why maybe no one has seen him in Atlanta filming any scenes or something like that because maybe he's just on a set somewhere like in closed doors filming these like, you know, moments where he's Cletus Cassidy, you know, in a Hannibal Lecter type setting and he's uh, talking to someone, maybe a cop or maybe Anne Weying or something like that. And then at the end of the movie, it gets the Carnage symbiote or whatever. Um, we did see also some tweets saying that Carnage is not the main villain, uh, according to Marvelous Realm and I think Atlanta filming, but I'll put that, you know, image up here of the, the tweet the screen grab I did of it. And, uh, and they're saying that the Drake and the Life Foundation are the main villains of the film and Carnage maybe in it they don't know who's playing carnage yet they hinted at oh someone else is playing carnage they hinted in one of their tweets but they didn't say who and then when a fan said what about woody harrelson they said oh that would be cool uh, but they didn't really like confirm or deny or anything like that and so far they said that they haven't seen woody like anywhere on set as far as they know and there's also some things they can't share because they're being very respectful they're like hey we're putting out images out there but if sony says hey you can't do this you can't post that they don't do it. And so, uh, so that's great. But again, it shows like, Hey, Sony, you can, they get, they're using their free press really well. They're like, Hey, we found these bloggers and these people online that are willing to share this information saves us from having to pay sources to go leak that stuff out. We can just have these guys do it. And it's awesome. It's like, it's, you know, obviously they have a small budget for this. They're trying to play it smart. They're playing it close to the vest. 
They've already been filming for almost three months now, what, October, November, and now most of December, and we still don't know the major plot of the movie. We know kind of what it's based on, the two comics it's based on. We don't know who everyone's playing. It's it's really crazy. So uh, they're doing a, a really good job uh, keeping this really close to the vest and, and trying to keep us in the dark of what's going on. And obviously they're doing that for a reason, but either way it's it's still like you know the words getting out there and the cool thing is they're letting it they're like hey you guys can talk about that stuff and there is some images that like you know were i guess stolen from one of the guy's phones or, or like his his database you know like he was like storing a bunch of his photos and i guess some of those photos were hacked uh, atlanta filming and they got out there like through other sources so you know those sources if they if they're not supposed to run those they'll probably get them taken down so i won't post any of those but i'll talk about them in our next video because the next video we're going to talk a little bit about jenny slate and we're going to talk about the life foundation uh, but what question i want to present to you guys is now that we have the carlton drake character or the drake character and we also have um the uh, scott hayes's roland treese character cast who do you think woody harrelson's playing would you like to see him play carnage are you hoping he's carnage uh, i kind of am at this point because i keep thinking of natural born killers and i just keep thinking of like meets you know hannibal lecter and splicing that together to make cletus cassidy and i'm just like ooh, i could really really get into that uh, but again that's just my fanboyness getting out there what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below and as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff i'll see you all in the future peace